Freedom. Let's talk about consistency. Consistency is one of those oddball topics that means different things to different people. I'd like to explore this in an open discussion format with you. Any YouTuber can tell you that they've heard the advice that consistency is key. However, knowing exactly what that means or interpreting it and putting it into use, that's a little bit of a different story. Because these words mean different things to different people, and because there are an infinite number of possibilities as far as what it means, I would like to discuss it with you. The first thing about consistency I'd like to discuss with you is what I call creating viewership rituals, as well as your rituals as a creator. Now, of course, uploading a certain day of the week or time of day, these are rituals and this is part of consistency. However, as far as thinking creatively, it's not necessarily what we're here to do. So let's talk about other types of consistency, such as the way that you talk to your audience. Now, as far as this goes, usually I try to address each audience individually and slightly differently. Um, the way that I greet my audience is a great way to uh, explore this. On my gaming channel, I start my videos off with, Hi there, Spitfire here with Game Mode 5. Today we're talking about whatever we're talking about, or today we're playing, and then the game we're playing. And this is the way that I've always done things on that channel. However, you'll notice that I did not carry that style of intro over to Freedom. Here on Freedom, usually it's FREEDOM! And then I tell you what it is that I'm excited about, or what is, you know, happening that day, or whatever news it is that I have to tell you about. And I love that about working for Freedom. I get to tell people about what excites me. So that's what I brought to Freedom. I brought that excitement because I enjoy doing this. And of course, I could probably do that through that old uh, intro, the hi there, Spitfire here with whatever. However, for professional reasons, I want to be known as Anthony here on this channel. Not only that, I did want to distance myself from my gaming persona so that I could forge a more professional relationship with the audience. That would be you. Even though I'm not consistent as a whole, I am consistent show to show. So for instance, anytime I'm playing games, rather than popping up and going, FREEDOM! It's always, hi there. I'm either Anthony or Spitfire. Today we're doing X, Y, or Z. And that is consistency. Though it's slightly different, between the two channels, I'm consistent with those two. When it comes to rituals and consistency, a lot of times you're not the only one that you need to worry about being consistent. You can also worry about your fans or your fan base being consistent in what they do. And let me explain this. In what you do, whatever it is you create, whether it's gameplay or vlogging or whatever, you're going to have sacred words. Now, sacred words are things that you and your audience get, however, other people don't. So, for instance, let's take this outside the realm of YouTube and into Starbucks. People who believe in the brand of Starbucks know when they go in to get their coffee, they're going to get a grande half-calf uh, mochaccino. And for me, because I'm not a Starbucks believer, I just want a large coffee, and the rest of it confuses me. However, many, many people get drawn into this, because by knowing that, you're part of an exclusive club. Now, going back to the land of YouTube, this would be something along the lines of Sky Does Minecraft, referring to gold as butter, and yelling at squids. And this can also be you calling your fans by a specific name or having a nickname for a person or a pet that only someone who had previously watched your videos knows about. These kind of things may seem small, however, they reward people for consistently consuming your content. This can be on a series by series basis, like my intro, or this can be channel wide, or across all of your channels if you're a multi-channel YouTuber. The thing about consistency and rituals is that it's not really important what you do. 
The important part is that you find out what works and you continue doing it for as long as it works. This doesn't necessarily mean that you should beat a dead horse. However, this does mean that if you find something that you enjoy doing and that others enjoy seeing you do, that's a trend probably worth following. And also, there are trends that you can set, as we discussed earlier, with your intro, your outro, and of course your sacred words. In all of this talk of consistency, I would like to pose a very interesting question to you. Do you feel that I should maintain my consistency with the way that I've been greeting this audience? Or do you feel that I should move to maybe a different introduction? Many people have voiced that they don't like the FREEDOM intro. So I would be curious to find out in the comment section down below whether this is a vocal minority or if many of you do feel that I should stop that and maybe move on to something else. Let me know in the comment section down below. In a similar vein, do you like this new format, this discussion format? I'm very curious whether you like this new format because it is a little bit more fun for me right now but I don't know if that's a passing phase or something that's going to continue. If you've implemented consistency or one of these consistency rituals in yourself or in your audience, I would be very interested in hearing about that. I would also be very interested to hear what you think about these particular types of tips. Do you like these discussion format videos? And do you like having tip videos that are more about thought and discussion rather than simply telling you how it is. Let me know in the comment section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments please. Consistency. Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like how do I leave freedom to learn more? Click get more views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click get more CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel. And click get more music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom.